G'day everyone. Welcome back to Sunstate Metal Detecting and thanks for joining us for another metal detecting adventure. Today we're out to do a private permission which is something that we haven't done in a good long while. I'm not too far from home at a little beachside location where we're essentially hunting uh, a block that's had four beach huts on over the years. Same family's owned it ever since it was settled and uh, I'm curious to see what there is to find. Hopefully a bit of older stuff but I'm fully expecting just the normal yard yuck but who knows. We'll grab the equipment, we'll head out and we'll see what we can find. I'll see you at the first signal. Cool. Oh, one cent at a time, we'll do this millionaire thing mate, we'll do this. That's it. <laughs> Come back and up. Oh cool. That'll be a target. Right, well, that's uh, pretty industrious. All right, first target here. Small target, sounds fairly deep. Mid 60s up to maybe an 80. 80. So sounds pretty. Uh, centimeters tall? No, that's a, the uh, the tone it's given me out oh, of 100. Okay. The higher the tone, yep. the more conductive the find is. So it can help us identify what the target's made out of. Get a bit of a plug here. Did that give you a depth indication, sorry? Yeah, it does give us a depth. So we had three out of five. Now that's a bit arbitrary because it's not like a, that's not telling you precisely how deep it is. But if it's a smaller target, you know, we could be oh, 15 or 20 centimeters down potentially. Oh, so you're talking. <laughs> Yep, it's moved. That means we're very close to it now, whatever You're it, it, it whatever it is, yeah. These roots are making it rather difficult. Okay, we are out. Somewhere here. Okay, yep, we have a coin. Oh. Here we go. Yep, oh, there is a coin. One cent coin? I think it's going to be a one cent. Yeah, it is. Any age on it? A little one cent coin there. Let's get the date. That is a 1987. There we go. Nice green patina to it. So, coin number one. Right. Cool. One cent at a time, we'll do this millionaire thing, mate. We'll do this. That's <laughs> it. We'll come back in the... Okay, another possible coin here. Very small target. So have a bit of a dig. This would be rather typical of an older backyard. It'd be just... Very much. City, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Or in a new backyard. Okay, let's get this plug out of the hole. All right. Oh, f we need to get a mining permit, girl. Security <laughs> access only. I'll get the gate, mate. I'll get the gate. <laughs> Sorry, I'll follow you, just give away all your rights. You should have been here half an hour ago, you've got no money to... No, no. Okay. So this one's still a fair way down. At least it's nice, easy digging sand. Yeah, you got it easy today. When the, okay, we're getting much closer to it now. When the plumbers were doing all the drainage for it, they didn't have the back they just didn't need it and their trenches were just neat. They were happy singing away, digging. It was just like a machine had dug them, you know yeah. what I mean? It was like this. They would have been happy as, oh, happy happy as anything. Happy plumbers. And happy plumbers, 
They get mouthy, pal. Some of the things are happy kind of say, but we'll leave it all at that. Okay, we're now touching it. Just a couple of scoops just in case. Yep. It's the top off an old tube, I think. Yeah. That is an uh, old tube. No, no, roofing nail, is it? Oh, tube. Look at you, you've done this. There you go. Right. Now. Sounded so neat. Oh, well, keep moving. Okay, another mid tone here. Nice stable one. Not particularly exciting numbers, but if it's that stable, it's got to be worth a dig. That's a big light. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Should be pretty close to it there. Hmm, a bit deeper than I was expecting. Oh, yeah, we've got a coin. It's an old 10 cent piece. Good, oh. 11 cents. 11 cents, Richard. Hurrah. Oh, right, another nice strong response down here. Mid to high 60s and relatively shallow. Have a look. Yep, not too far under at all. Okay. Turn that sensitivity down a bit. Yep, touching it. Yep, we do have something metallic down there. And it's some metal off cut. Right, that explains that. Alright, another little target here. This one could be another coin. Super tidy, 3940. Very, very shallow, I think. Yeah. Getting a lot of interference from the power lines overhead here. Let's pop this up. Nope, not 20 cents. That's the, uh, like the keyway off an old lock. Something a little bit older. Pop that away. Get this filled in and we'll keep working. Okay, we've got another tone here. Another nice stable one. Pretty shallow. Let's see. Not too far under. Let's pop a bit of soil up like this. Just see, where is it? Just in here. Okay, oh, another coin another 10 cents and what do we got on that one that is 
2006. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, decent tone here. Bit of depth on it. But very, very firmly in the 80s. Okay, we've got some very dense roots here. Ooh, this one might prove to be difficult. Yep, there's a big root right there. see there. Is that a root or is that something else? Well that's going to be our target I think. Not quite sure. Hmm. Oh well, there you have it. Let's keep moving. Okay, another target at the base of this tree here. Floating around the 70s, low 70s generally. Just don't know where the roots are here. It's a bit of trial and error to work it out. Put root there. Oh, I think it's about as much as I can dig with that, let's have a look. All right, let's get that plug up and out of the hole. It's better. It's better. You know, it should stay where it is. Turn that sensitivity back up. Yep. It feels like there might be some rocks down here. Or actually, oh cool. That'll be a target. It's the remains of a toy car. One toy car that is now well, well now in two pieces. Now, <laughs> all right, moving on. Okay, got a nice strong one smack dab in the middle of the yard here. Mid sixties. Could that be our first gold coin? Not too far under. Definitely a hand tools job here rather than the, the big one. Feels like there's quite a few roots here still. All right. Yep. out oh yes I see a gold coin down there there we go that's a dollar and that is a 1994 one dollar very cool all right I'll uh, put that in my pocket instead of back in the ground and we'll keep wandering along oh, I've come down to a spot local to me because uh, well that erosion 
we've got uh, anywhere from about 10 centimetres to about a metre and a half of erosion along certain parts of the beach where I am now. And I wanted to take full advantage before uh, it all gets washed away. So uh, we'll, I'm already up. I'm already swinging with the Coil Tech 18 Myth Tech coil. So we'll see what it manages to turn up tonight. I'll catch up with you at the first signal. Okay, first tone here. Bit of an odd one. A little bit all over the place. Yep, not too far under. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, there's something there. It's gonna be a fish can. Yeah, like a sardine tin or something of that nature. All right, get the sand out of that and we'll keep moving. All right, sounds like another piece of can, but we'll give it a bell. Let's have a look. Out. All right. Let's see. Nope. That's a house key, I think. Yeah, it is an old house key. A little bit bent, but uh, we'll clean it. We'll see if there's anything interesting about it a bit later on. Right, just as I was starting to doubt this spot, I finally got a good tone. Yeah, it's a low to mid 60s, which is usually a pretty good number. One scoop. Yeah, a bit messy out of the hole, but could be about the same. Let's see. Oh yeah, what have I got there? That is a coin. I think we're gonna find it's gonna be a very old $2 coin. Yeah, sure is. All right, first coin on the board. Very good, let's keep going. Okay, we've got another fairly weird sounding one, which is, uh, yeah, interesting. Have a go at this. Oh, it's not doing it now. It was showing a uh, that sort of low 60s tone and then jumping all the way up to a 90. Out and one again. Bit all over the place really. Could we be dealing with another coin? That would be nice. Yes, we are. Another $2 for the kitty. All right, that's two from two. Let's see how many more of those we can pull out of the sand. All right, I wanna know if this is just another case of iron falsing. Uh, we have another target. If you recall, I think it was last week, we had a bunch of targets which showed up on a, with a strange sort of line on the manticore display. This is doing exactly the same. Have a look. And you'll notice there's a very distinct line. So it wants to be non-ferrous, but it's just not quite there. Let's see. I think it's just going to be in this stuff that's recently fallen. Possibly. Or is it above? Or is it a ways down? might be a ways down still. Oh no, it's not too far. Let's get a couple of scoops out of there. See if we're close. Should be. Oh, I've moved it. Right. 
Okay, she's out now. Nope. Oh, there's a phone number. That's a, uh, a make shi make shift. Make makeshift. There we go. Get that word out right. Dog tag for Rolly. And we have a, a local home phone number on the back. Right. Well, that's uh, fairly industrious. I'll pop that away and we'll keep walking. It's uh, a bit of alfoil. A bit of alfoil. Oh no. Another clump of foil. Looks like junk. Feels like probably aluminium. It's quite an old tube too. Full of ants. Yeah, big old sinker. Yep, just a little sinker with a bit of fishing line attached. The base of a can. Fishing gear. Oh, there's a hook in there too. 